Hello again. Well, I went ahead and put the silver metallic finish in the cut into the engraving of the scorpion graphic that I uh, hand drew and cut on the last videos. And I just want to let you know what I'm doing, what I do is I take silver metallic acrylic paint. This is uh, by Cream Coat, Delta Cream Coat. And what I do is I mix it with this stuff, and it's um, by Dreamweaver. It's called um, embossing, embossing paste. And this stuff is actually thicker than acrylic paint. It becomes, uh, it makes the paint a heavier body. So it really is like a paste. And I don't put much of this. It's very little. And this is, says it is a, um, a pearlescent. Um, white. It's just white pearlescent paste. And it's used for stenciling, I guess, for embossing. Uh, I'm making, uh, I, I've noticed uh, some real crafty people uh, will make their own uh, greeting cards and stuff using this stuff. So anyway, I put a little bit of that into the metallic silver paint uh, to thicken it up so it becomes more of a filler. <clears throat> now, you could use uh, straight acrylic paint, which I have done if it's uh, thick enough you know um, and not too thin and basically you just ply it with your fingers you start putting in there and it looks kind of like a mess and then you you take a, a very soft and what I do is I use a paper towel but I don't use the traditional coarse paper towels you know I use the this paper towel over here which is very very soft and it's like a shop towel it's it's it almost feels like there's cotton or something made of cotton so don't use a real coarse paper towel like a uh, one that, that would cause uh, scratching of the surface. So I just began putting some of the masking tape in preparation of doing the medium, putting the holographic medium. And I just wanted to show the, uh, this is the original guitar that I did. And it does look like I got the, the graphic very close to, if not exactly like the original. So that's what it was, that's what it's supposed to turn out like. And, um, and that's where I'm at right now. Excuse me, bad grammar, but that's where I am. And uh, so I'm going to continue on with this project. Also, 